Well, the fighting continues and we still haven't really wrapped up everything, but the it is how it is. It's a, it will probably not be resolved in another three chapters. Although there is some implication that in maybe two or one, at least the final strike will happen. Now, if that is true, we only can wait and see. The angry enemy found the despair reviewer. And this is Black Clover chapter 210. Last time, well, we didn't get a chapter last week because the author was sick. He returned this time with uh, the demon still in his villainous breakdown as he spawns more mouth and all saying the things. I have no idea why he uh, hates so many things, but he did say to the Prince Lumiere that he was a being of pure despair and evil, so maybe it's like that. Either way, he sends out a tremendous amount of dangerous things. And Asta begins to feel the limit of his um, form. You know, I'm kind of pissed off that it's Asta that feels the limit and not Juno. I mean, I, it's not like I have been grown tired of Black Clover. Don't get me wrong, I haven't. But there's, but I, after I've seen a video by someone don't, that was actually praising Black Clover, I started to become a little bit depressed over the fact that he, that video was completely right. Asta is not a chosen one, and for some reason that makes me very depressed. I don't know why. Maybe because uh, I know the feeling of not being a chosen one, but I also know the feeling that you need to do everything you can in your life. And I am not, so I believe I feel a little bit things like that. And also is the fact that Asta is more developed as a character than Juno is, and it's clear that Juno is the chosen one. It's a pretty strange logic, but that's how I always work. Either way, Lumiere and Lich gather together their power in order to protect everyone. As um, it turns out that Jack is still fighting uh, the Fana. It reveals that his magic can actually cut even recovery magic. But as the, diff as the alien magic all sweeps in and no one can deal with it, everyone just have to flee. So Lumiere and Lich gathers their power with an union magic demon dweller sword plus protecting light, uh, creating a protecting light that uh, temporarily seems to weigh off the thing. Oh yeah, it's worth noting that uh, though that despite having knocked uh, him out, um, uh, that uh, Charmy is actually grabbing the unconscious el elf. Of, of well you know who and while uh, the other ones are grabbing Meladon, Leo and Jakob the only one who can sense what is going on is actually um, La Raya seeing that he is actually have a cl connection with Lich he is saying that he's seriously jealous so uh, while the light is gathering to protect everyone Patri protects uh, the Lich and uh, Lumiere, while never saying he's doubting the bonds again. So yeah, the two boys uh, still keeps on fighting, but as I said before, I still don't really like the fact that it's uh, Asta who uh, is feeling the limit and not Juno. But um, it's, uh, it's also the fact that while it is pretty nice, for some reason it's, it creates a temporarily frustrating feeling of me uh, that Juno pushes Asta, and Asta pushes Juno. That is not, not necessarily a bad thing, but it does create a small amount of frustration in me over that. I don't know why, though. What is it about that that makes me frustrated? So maybe something like, uh, it seems so one-dimensional, or is it because they try to up-up each other? As I said before, Juno is not a character, he's not developed at all. He has just one type of character, but that's because he is made, meant to be that way. So that's nothing we can really completely complain about. So, uh, and it's a uh, more of a <sighs> playful rivalry that makes it a little bit more likable to watch. Either way, as they are being surrounded by the thing, finally Jamie and Charla, or Charla, whatever, or here. As they still have their really bickering, I mean, I'm pretty pissed. I'm getting pretty pissed off against Charlotte's uh, the 
comments, but then again, maybe it's not so much filled with malice as before. Even Jam is preparing one final attack, as he's saying that wrap your tentacle or your your th thorns around my sword and uh, to create a sc scabbard and then hit them well. As the three guys of Asta, Juno and Jami all prepare, they all said the same thing. Let's put everything we got into this one strike. There is now we are approaching. We are slowly and very slowly approaching the climax of this battle. But this is meant to foreshadow one hit. The one hit that will decide it all. The question is who will deal the final hit? Juno has actually said out that while he doesn't look so tired, he has mentioned that Asta's magic, no anti-magic, seem to work on the demon. And but Jami has also said his sword works on the demon. So the question is, who, or which one of these two will deal the final blow? I mean, wouldn't it be ironic if it turns out to be Juno, the one guy who doesn't deserve to deal the fatal blow, is the one who actually deals the fatal blow? Ah, eh, who cares? But uh, yeah. All three of them are preparing, but we don't know who will deal it. Perhaps all three of them will deal it at the same time. Who knows? All I do know is that the demon is slowly heading towards his end. And this little rock can finally wrap up. But this is basically this chapter. I mean, I, it was a little slow down of this, a little high pacing there. Not awesome. Uh, but it was definitely cool, don't get me wrong, so I don't really dislike it. But you give me your thoughts if you have any. And also, who do you think is the one who's gonna deal the fellow blow?